Teja Lover 315, me and Rosa are going to San Francisco, California for a few days. But, we can't stand about you coming with us because of your bad behavior. Plus, you're still grounded. By the way, Teja Lover 315, Sayara and Red Slash will be taking care of you. So, be on your best behavior, okay? Okay, Tanner, Rosa, I understand. That's our guy. We better get going now. Bye bye. Hi Tehi Lover 315, I'm Syra. And I'm Red Slash, and today, we're going to host a movie night. Oh really? A movie night? Well, it's a late 1980s double feature of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Back to the Future Part 2. Ugh. Not these two movies, these are so boring and lame. I want to go watch the double feature of Teacher's Pet, and the Pirates Who Don't Do Anything, a Veggie Tales movie at Vion Stadium and Movie Theater instead. Nope. We're not taking you to Vion Stadium and Movie Theater to see the double feature of Teacher's Pet and that Pirate Veggie Tales movie. We're watching Bill and Ted and Back to the Future and that's final, Tay Lover 315. Let's go right now. Wow guys, these were such awesome vintage movie posters. Yeah, Junior, dude. I can't stop looking at those movie posters from the 1960s and early 1970s. These caught my blue eyes. Yeah, these are so darn awesome, Kirby. Junior? I can't stop staring at these posters. These caught my brown eyes, dudes. Hey there guys, we have some of our friends for our movie night. Yeah, we got Teha Lover 315 with us, but he'll not misbehave. If he does misbehave, he'll get grounded. Hey guys, I'm Tom Rook, I missed you guys. Plus, you may know me from Animal Crossing. Wow, Tom Book, we missed you as well. So glad you're here for a movie night along with Isabel and company. Well, are you boys ready for Sura and Red Slash's movie night? This is going to be so awesome you know. Born ready, boys and girls, plus, Team Sanic and their friends are waiting for us. Okay everybody, we got everyone in the group, including Poland Ball, USA Ball, Jet, King Diddy, Meta Knight, Team Sonic, and others for our awesome movie night. That's right, Sarah, Red Slash, thanks for inviting us, you guys. Yay, this is going to be so awesome as heck, don't you think? Yeah, you're super welcome. Haha. <laughs> so, we have five characters to share any videos you like. Who would like to go first? So, may I go first, Red Slash, Sarah? Of course, Toad. You can share any videos you like. All right, everyone. Here are the commercials from the 2000s. Wow, some 2000s commercials. So awesome, isn't it? Yes, yeah, dude. Let's watch the commercials. Show everyone. Oh, Toady, you said it, buddy. Let's watch the commercials. Have we got a show for you? It's Veggie Tales. The hit family video series that teaches timeless values from the Bible, like honesty, kindness, and forgiveness, in a wonderful, wacky way. These stories feature award-winning computer animation, lovable characters, and hysterical songs. Check it out, check it out! Veggie Tales instills important moral lessons. My mommy always 
Mommy told me to do what's right. This is the one series the whole family can enjoy. VeggieTales is one of the most honored children's series ever. And experts agree that VeggieTales is great quality entertainment. It's showtime! Newsweek proclaims it's a smash hit. Billboard says it's a hysterically funny series. And now the laughs can be delivered straight to you and your family. Call now to receive two great videos, Lyle the Kindly Viking and Madam Blueberry for just $29.95. Wild the Kindly Viking will have your whole family laughing and singing along as they learn about sharing and friendship. This hilarious adventure is full of toe-tapping music and a fun story that your kids will never forget. It'll be great! You'll also receive Madam Blueberry with the wackiest shopping spree ever, where your kids will learn that being greedy makes you grumpy. Because a thankful heart is a happy heart. Cheeseburger, please do not get angry. Every video includes a special bonus feature, Silly Songs with Larry. Come on and get ready, I'm coming down. I can't take a lie from the show. All now to receive Lyle the Kindly Viking and Madam Blueberry, a $29.95 value. But if you call right now, it's just $19.95. And if you act right now, you'll also receive a Veggie Classic Song Sampler CD absolutely free. Your kids will love this great toe-tapping CD filled with wacky sing-along fun. You must be 18 years of age to order this product. Learning great values and good, clean fun are just a phone call away. Order VeggieTales for your family now. <laughs> Hello. Hi, it's Gingy. He said it was urgent. He's a cookie. Gingy. This Shrek the Third HD DVD is just too amazing. It makes me look delicious. You look great. Well, HD is the best picture you can get. Oh, it's making me want to take a little nibble. So many shiny sprinkles. Ow! Ow! Oh, yummy! For truly high-def movies, get HD DVD and experience the biggest hits this holiday season. Hey, Mom, SpongeBob's at Burger King. Can we go? As soon as your dad's done. Yes. Hey, honey. Guess who I am? Come. Who am I? SpongeBob, no pants. Wow. And I live under the sea, honey, and a pineapple. SpongeBob, no pants. SpongeBob fever is spreading. Grab some tasty chicken fries and toys, only at BK. Your attention, all land lovers. Set sail for the SpongeBob SquarePants Season 4 Volume 1 box set. Available today on DVD. Are you ready to be a winner? This two-disc collectible box set includes 20 sensational episodes and a treasure trove of bonus features, including behind the scenes with SpongeBob and friends. You can't rush perfection. And two original uncut animatics. You can absorb the SpongeBob Season 4 Volume 1 DVD box set today. And be on the lookout for the best day ever album in stores now. <laughs> Football in run. true high definition. Oh, wow! Wait, he breaks free. Go, go, He's gonna go on. Yeah. But what do you do when the game's over? Watch movies in true high def with the Toshiba HD DVD player. With up to six times the details of DVD, even your current DVD collection looks great. Get the most out of your HD TV and get something worth cheering for. The Toshiba HD DVD player now starting as low as $149.99. Have we got a show for you. VeggieTales Rockin' Tour Live is a huge hit with audiences across the country. Last summer from L.A. to Atlanta, from Detroit to Dallas, the Veggies left audiences laughing, singing, and wanting more. Critics were also singing the praises of this interactive extravaganza. This year's VeggieTales Rockin' Tour Live is a brand new show, delivering 80 minutes of veggie favorites. Your family will have a blast watching Bob, Larry, and their favorite veggies rock the house in this fast-paced, entertaining show. Featuring the Veggies' very best songs. With performances from their chart-topping albums and multi-platinum videos, Veggie fans of all ages are sure to have a great time watching Veggie Tales' greatest hits up close and rockin' live. Enjoy all your favorites, like the Cheeseburger song, the Larry Boy theme song, and even the smash hit Belly Button, performed by Boys in the Sink. Baby. This is a great chance for your family to rock out with an exciting live show you know you can trust. Because it's Veggie Tales. Visit the events section of www.bigidea.com to see when and where the veggies will rock and roll into your neighborhood. Don't miss Veggie Tales Rockin' Tour Live. Coming to Disney DVD and Video. Spawn your fur! In the fur! 
This summer, you can take a hilarious road trip. Are we there yet? With Disney's Teacher's Pet. We'll make my summer dream come true. Yeah! On DVD and video this Tuesday, rated PG. Summer wouldn't be summer without your parents telling you what to do. <laughs> This summer, take a break with Disney's Teacher's Pack on DVD and video this Tuesday, rated PG. And we got a show for you. It's Veggie Tales like you've never seen them before, live on stage, May 14th through the 19th at the Rosemont Theater. Hi, kids. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. The Minneapolis Star Tribune calls Veggie Tales Live a crowd pleaser, a winner that scores big. Tickets are on sale now at the box office. All Ticketmasters charge at 312 559 1212 or online at cc.com. It's Veggie Tales live on stage. You think you've seen it all. All the action. All the adventure. But what if there was something your eyes were missing? With six times the resolution of standard DVDs, plus high-def surround sound, HD DVD makes your chases high-speedier. Your heroes testosteroneier and your enemies bloodthirstier. And now, for the first time, High Definition becomes fully connected online. The future of High Definition is here, and it's perfect. You're not getting the HD TV experience until you get HD DVD. Hey, SpongeBob, I painted a picture of you! Want to see it? Mmm, that's nice, Patrick. But it doesn't really look like me. Uh, oh, yes, it looks like so. No, it does! <laughs> SpongeBob toys are now at Burger King in celebration of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie! I'm ready! I'm ready! Wow, Patrick Pineway! You can collect all 12! There's one in every kid's meal! Only at Burger King! <laughs> I like square bucks and I cannot lie. Squid and sea star can't deny. When a sponge walks in four corners in his pants like he got phone book implants, the crowd shouts. All the ladies stare. Hang those pants are square. Swinging through the sea, we tangles. It's a butt with sharp right angles. Now, SpongeBob, I wanna get rich, y'all. Cause you're making me rich, y'all. Burger King wants me to seal the deal. 99 cent, get a toy and a kid's meal. Booty is booty. Buy an adult value meal and get a BK kid's meal with a SpongeBob toy for just 99 the blue baloo balooba. <laughs> the standard girl. <laughs> and the classic bunk bed. <laughs> Learn these techniques and more as Mike and Sally teach you the following fur raising scares. <laughs> <laughs> Get your scare on. Rated E for everyone. PlayStation. Now, these were some awesome and nostalgic 2000s commercials. These caught my big eyeballs. Ha ha ha. Yeah, Cappy, these commercials caught my giant eyeball. Ha ha ha. Ha. Cappy, what'll do? You guys have really big eyes. By the way, these commercials were so awesome. Yeah, dude. These are commercials for Burger King, HD DVD, and something like this. Wait. What the heck is HD DVD, guys? Well, it's like Blu-ray disc. It was released the same year as Blu-rays you know. Yeah, so... May I go next, guys? Of course, Padman. You the second character to share any videos you like. Thanks, Red Slash. So guys, do you want to see some movie trailers and commercials from the 1980s? Wait! No movie trailers and commercials from the 1980s, that's retro! Yeah, so, let's watch those movie trailers and commercials right now. Everyone! Well, these 1980s movie trailers and commercials are retro, aren't they, guys? Yep. You, you said, said it, it. Kirby. Kirby. Maniac. 
yours. But you can't lock the madman out of your mind. the life out of you. Welcome to Marin County, California, where the search for the ultimate lifestyle is the goal of every man. Mark, remember I have a bad back. Hey, Rob! My friends are having a party. Every woman. Very apt, Carol, very apt. He wants me to goof off with him standing in a hammock. And every precocious child. Now, as far as Stokely's concerned, it's just a question of putting him in touch with his childhood. I'm only 10 years old, you dork. Serial, an adult look at the sometimes not-too-adult world of the country's most with-it community. Eunice, meanness, usness, weenus. Sickness. Serial is a new brand of comedy. In an insane society, the same man must appear insane. Where'd you get that? Star Trek. Harvey. Oh, Serial. Harvey, this is Mark. Hi, I'm a Harvey. Uh, <laughs> you don't eat it, you see it. Class of 1984. Their only goal is power. I run this school, man. If you want to survive around here, you have got to learn to look the other way. I am the future. I am the future. I am the future. Somebody's got to stop this insanity. If they are the future, who will stop them? Class of 1984. Rated R. The Ninja. Born of a 400-year-old tradition. Trained in the most exquisite subtleties of combat. The ninja must be as wise as he is all-powerful. For if ever a ninja gives himself over to the dark side of his art, the destruction is terrifying and absolute. Revenge of the Ninja. Starring martial arts master Sho Kosugi. And his son, Kane Kusugi, six-year-old world karate champion. When he came to America, he put aside his weapons. I will not follow the way of the ninja. But he could not put aside his destiny as a warrior. And now, destiny has come searching for him. Two warriors, one in the service of evil, one bound by honor and vengeance, must fight to the death. Because only a ninja can kill a ninja. Revenge of the Ninja, the great martial arts explosion of the 80s, comes to America with full force. Now 
ocean, wherever you look, skin, skin, skin. A uh, spring break in Fort Lauderdale. 250,000 kids here for the sole purpose of partying. <laughs> Nelson Dalby and Adam Stern are about to get the break of their lives. Spring break. For some, it's the start of a whole new education. For others, it's a more advanced course. You can learn a foreign language. Or expand your present one. You can learn martial arts. Home economics. Sunny guides for your protection. Culinary arts. And all sorts of sports. There's something for those into the performing arts. And something for those into nature. Oh, Nelson! Columbia Pictures presents Spring Break. It's the reason kids go to college in the first place. I still don't know where my underpants are. Why, what happened to them? I think they ate them. Meet the kids from suburbia. There's Jack. Wake up and smell the coffee, man. Sheila. Staff to me, scars are ready. Joe. That could be there all your life. And Ethan. I feel kind of scared. You'll love him. Or hate him. Metal rejects running wild in our street. Their music. We're talking about kids. Kids are like yours and mine. Well, I'm damn sure they aren't my kids. Their home. This is the best home any of us ever had. Besides, if we didn't have each other, we wouldn't have anything. And nobody's gonna take it away from them. You shut up! You molested your own daughter, you scumbag! Shit face. A new movie about a new generation. Suburbia. Morgan Hiller. First day in a new school. You ready for it? I always. He's got an attitude. There's no bike riding on campus. Well, I was just sort of hoping I could take a quick ride through history. You mind taking those off? I'd like to see who I'm talking to. They've got a problem. Let go of me! Not until you tell me what your name is. He lives in two worlds. I'm sure Patty and Alan will vouch for us. Always behind enemy lines. You are not now, nor were you ever members of this club. Just when I thought we were going to be good friends. Tough turf. They took your car. I don't own a car, man. He's a loner on a roll. An outsider on the edge. Caught between a dangerous loser. Give his bike back. And the girls they both love. She belongs to Nick. Come on, Jimmy. Lincoln freed the slaves. 
Yeah, I thought you were going with such a nice, respectable guy. You just ice here right now. They can't shut him down. Body heat on contact. And they can't cool him off. Oh. You! I figure if I wait long enough, maybe I can... Get lucky? Tough turf. Nobody takes anything that I own. Nobody. He stands alone, and one way or the other. Well, oh, I hate to tell you, big brother, but the rules have changed. What is this, sir? Will? He's going to make this town his own. He's always been a rebel. Now, he's about to become a hero. Tough Turf. Featuring music by Southside Johnny. Lena Lovitch, Marianne Faithful, Jim Carroll, and Jack Mack and the Heart Attack. Summer! Summer! If you can't put your feelings into words, Put them in a letter. Listen to this. I, I don't know how to tell you what I want to tell you. I'll never find the nerve to give you this letter anyway. But I just love you more than words can say. I'm in love. I long to have your arms around me and feel your body against mine. Oh, radical. But be careful where you put the letter. Take your hands off my daughter, Fruit Lips. Oh, it's the mail, man. My mother's in there crying. I hope you're happy. She say, I really like it. Michael, she loved it, okay? You look great. My son's in the next car. He's with my daughter. Well, what do you want me to do? Do it right. Oh, she loved it. Whoa. Well, what about you? Me? Oh, I have no standards. I mean, I'd even go out with you. It wasn't good. It was great. You and me, him and her, all together at the same house at the same time. Uh, one more thing, little boy. Oh, God. You get her pregnant, I'll blow you. No sacrifice. No reward. Secret admirer. Well, what do you want me to do? Do it right. X, X, X. O, O, O. X, X. You gotta write her another one? This summer, learn how to do it right. See Secret Admirer. You know what we need? I mean, besides bread. We need a woman to appreciate what we have to offer. Freddy Shoot loves to cut class. Hates to do homework. Lives for summer vacation. Look, Freddy, you're a semi-charming guy and a real snappy dresser. You're just not the kind of guy I date anymore. Yeah, what kind of guy are you dating now? Oh, the kind who wears socks. And the only reason he hasn't been expelled yet is because he's the gym teacher. Oh, Mr. Shoop. At Oceanfront High. Congratulations. You've been chosen to teach summer school. No, oh, I'm not a real teacher. That's all right. These aren't real students. They're unmotivated, irresponsible, not too bright. They'll relate to you. You in this class, too? Mm -hmm. I'm teaching it. No way! Right off the bat, you show them who's in charge. Hmm? Please take your seats. Where should we take him? Who is in charge? I recommend this time, I pass. You're gonna do well, Jerome. I can feel it. I've seen some of your students. Very scary. <laughs> There's a very valid reason for summer vacation. The human brain needs rest. I know you guys aren't exactly fired up about English. But we're stuck here. We're trapped like rats. Tension breaker had to be done. Mark Harmon. You need an intelligent, sensitive man who can skate. Kirsty Allen. Do you know such a guy? Oh, they're hard to find. In the Oceanfront High Summer School class of 87. They're as smart as you and me. You and I. All of us. Paramount Pictures presents a new film by Carl Reiner. Summer School. I love this film. It had passion spirit. Dave, I agree with you. Thumbs up from me. Same here. To sum it up, I'm Chainsaw. I'm Dave. We'll see you at the movies. Yeah! Riding bareback like a pro. Hold on tight, 
you're off to go at a wild route to Burger King Rodeo. The king flies out the gate. That old bull, he won't wait. A barrel full of fun. Sharing thrills. Sipping shakes. It's a jam like jamboree. You can give the dude a hand. When he's born for Western, we know where he stands. Here comes his biggest fan. Burgers for a right for a ten gallon appetite. It's always something special when you're with Burger King. See now here. You want a whopper? It's late at night. Come to Burger King and we'll treat your hunger right. Open past midnight, a late night at Burger King. I should hungry for Burger King now. You're witnessing one of the most momentous events of all time. The world's first digital video system from Toshiba. The Toshiba Digital VCR creates unforgettable special effects. And the first 525-line digital TV is incredible. Toshiba Digital Video. It'll change history. some retro 1980s movie previews and commercials, I guess. Yay, these were some awesome retro 1980s movie trailers and commercials. Plus, I agree with you, guys and gals. Ha ha. I know, right, these were some retro 1980s movie trailers and commercials. Agreed, friends. So, may I go next, guys? Of course, Cuphead. You're the third character to share any videos you like. Thanks, Sarah, Red Slash. So, have you seen some movie trailers from the late 1960s and early 1970s? Well, of course, Cuphead. I hope these 1960s and 1970s movie trailers are vintage, you know. Yeah, guys. These 1960s and 1970s are vintage and retro times, don't you think? Yeah. Some vintage and retro times, Poland. Alright everyone, here are the movie trailers from the late 1960s and early 1970s. Get your eyes on these previews. This is no way to treat a lady. Christopher Gill likes to... on doors. 
But that's no way to treat a lady. You found out, huh? What? Well, that I'm the strangler. Now say you believe me, say it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You hear me? I did not kill that woman. You must listen to me. Listen to me. You may be interested to know that Dr. Schaefer here concurs. He thinks we have a paranoid exhibition of mother hate. I am sickened at heart when my own son goes looking at dead women's naked body. Mother, what do you want from me? Well, my mother, my friend, and I were famously close together. And we love each other. Yes, love. I a midget. Lots of people are midgets. See how I fool them? I'm a master of disguise. Christopher Gill likes to put on disguises, but that's no way to treat a lady. Are you really a cop? May I come in? By all means, officer. I killed every one of them. You? It was my bare hands. You know something those hands haven't done? They haven't touched me. Christopher Gill likes to work with his hands, and that's no way to treat a lady. Ciao, 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 bambino. Academy Award nominee, Rod Steiger, Lee Remick, George Siegel, give you the full treatment in No Way to Treat a Lady. Bigot. Go, 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 go! Christopher Gill just likes to kill. And that's no way to treat a lady. Lee Van Cleef has been ugly, dirty, and downright mean. Now, watch him get violent. Let's say I'm buying your revenge for $50,000. Then the honest people of Clifton can owe their debt to Frank Talby. with a pistol and I don't want to question that Talby but who knows if you'd take on a real duel the weapon that's gonna kill me hasn't been invented yet to the stars. They come from you, but belong only to themselves. You all seem like such good friends. We are. We performed bird surgery together. We drunk truth serum together. We've told each other awful things about ourselves. It sort of creates a bond between people. And though you may give them your kingdom, their thoughts are their own. For it is to them that you bequeath the future. 
the future that you cannot visit. I love you both. Ah, oh, she's just a kid. No, no, really? no, there's so few people we can trust. Careful. Terrific. I trust you. I you trust, trust you. you. I trust you. We all trust <laughs> each other. <laughs> when last summer began, they were children. When it ended, they were something else. Today's child dies. Tomorrow's man is born. Frank Perry, creator of David and Lisa, has once again discovered a cast of young talents and once again he has made an unforgettable motion picture based on the provocative novel by Evan Hunter. It is called Last Summer. Adam Gaines has a 911T Porsche. Good looks, a guaranteed future, and as many girls as he can handle. When you're through with the hip and slick of it all, when the good life becomes too good, when the hard things come easy, then it's time to say so long, shift gears, and head for reality. The world changed for Adam at 6 a.m. Adam Gaines. Gladys' his boy from California. Hello there, Adam. I just said to Jerry... This is my daughter, Jerry Jo. Hi, Adam. Hello. I said, now there's someone your own age are you to talk with on this dreadful afternoon. You're not from Kansas City, I take it. California. Mm. <clears throat> Pharmacy's my field. Semantics and ditch digging. Well, just what is that now? The semantics? Study of meanings. Meanings of what? Well, meanings of words. Well, why doesn't a young man like yourself, present company accepted, of course, why doesn't he get up off his behind and make a buck? Harvey Gavin. Adam Gaines. Yeah, I see you ain't used to hard work. <laughs> oh, you got yourself one hell of a good job now. Got a job for the summer. Power and light summer crew. You won't like it. That's for men who never went to school. Oh! Oh! Oh, He's over! He's over! He's over! Oh! Well, let me tell you some bitch shot. I made you old lady Mavis. I did a hell of a witch away. Get you up! Oh, no, we just made it! Ah! You're different from us. You got brains. And yeah, now you got yourself the ball to go along with it. Look, I don't want to be stopped in one place by somebody's idea of what's proper. I see you and me traveling all across the country. Europe, maybe. A couple of years. Just go. We're two new people. All right? Let's try everything. Let's rise up and take to the road. We got a long way to go. Come on, Teen, get up. For God's sake, Teen, snap to it. Your mother made five beta cap at Smith, but I don't think she can make a four-minute egg. Jonathan, not tonight. I'm too tired. Is there anything you can do anymore? And you're just beginning to vibrate. And I know exactly how that went. Diary of a Mad Housewife, a Frank Perry film with screenplay by Eleanor Perry.
from the novel by Sue Kaufman. In nine days, we are giving a party for 100 people. I would like to see you do one thing to make this party a success. Would you come to a party that we're giving a week from Saturday? This is ridiculous. I am going home. Sit down. I can't stay. You make me too mad. You're not mad. You're scared to death. By far, the Perry's best film. Great movie making. Superb performances. New York Times. An important film. Life magazine. A pungent contemporary comedy. Playboy. A beautiful and dazzling piece of filmmaking. Holiday magazine. Certainly not a love affair. Surpasses the Perry's David and Lisa and Last Summer, L.A. Herald Examiner. Witty dialogue. The biting truth is earthy, refreshing, and strangely satisfying. Cosmopolitan magazine. You're damn right I'm a sadist, and you're the perfect willing victim. As usual, you've got everything twisted. What have I got twisted? Blisters the current scene. The best Frank Perry has made. Saturday Review. <laughs> I don't keep a cat or dog because they eat too much. Little kids bore the pants off me, and when I go to a ball game, I root for the visitors. I never cried at a wedding or a funeral. I never sent a Christmas card, and I cheated my wife, if I had the time. But I've got one soft spot. A man is innocent until proven guilty. The Lawyer. To that gun, make up your mind one way or another. Let me make it clear. I do not respond to threats. Now, you can take your gun, will you? You remember a town called Junction City? You killed a man there for a bottle of champagne. His name was David Mountford. You say so? He was my husband! She hit him in the head with a steel poker. Then she plunged it into his chest. She tried her best to kill him. That's when Macho decided to make love. <laughs> David Jansen is Macho Callahan. An unusual kind of hero. He's been killing men since he was 11. He was left to rot in Andersonville. Oh, I could drop you right here, you know. My time, that box is up two days ago. You want your damn time up, huh? Don't scare you none at all, does it? He led 3,000 men in a prison revolt. Three kids and a wife full of one more. I need somebody to bring me in. I was only told to raise the alarm.
then Cochise, and now the bloodiest Apache of them all, Olsana. <laughs> Olzana's intentions are. Their probable intention is to burn, maim, torture, and murder. Where will he fight us? He don't mean to fight you no place, Lieutenant. He only means to kill you. To stop Olzana, the army sent a patrol commanded by a fledgling lieutenant and his advisor, a battle-scarred scout. The scout Bert Lancaster. The lieutenant, Bruce Davison. The sergeant, Richard Jago. Leave that body where it is. It needs burying. I want the Apache scout to do that. Damn it, lieutenant. You're not making any sense. Now look, Mr. McIntosh, that used to be a white man. Like yourself, a white man. Cut her loose. She's not dead. Why do you suppose they spared Mrs. Reardon? Maybe they thought she was dead. Luzana, leave woman for you to find. Vlad. Vlad. If they come back, promise me. You won't let them take me. Promise me. <laughs> Sana's reign, a battle of wills, cunning, and sheer guts between two grim fighters, two civilizations, the American scout, the bloody Apache, Ulzana. Combine the Dirty Dozen with the Magnificent Seven, and you have the Chinese Professionals. Kung Fu Beast. <laughs> Siamese Devils. <laughs> Tibetan Tiger Man. The Invincible Yuga Khan. <laughs> one-armed boxer, a total of nine masters of the martial arts to tear the screen apart. The Chinese professionals. Rated R. The Naked Ape, is it you? From the worldwide bestseller by Desmond Morris, some startling answers. Hey, Sergeant. Did you know that your facial and vocal expressions were developed by the hunting ape more than two million years ago? The naked truth about you, man. Can you take it? Did you know monkeys and apes don't fall in love? I keep forgetting. You know, we could be arrested. We? It's your fantasy. The naked truth about love. Courtship. Cheating. The raw basic drives under the veneer. The naked truth about jealousy. Violence. And the laughs on you. It's quite wild. Part of the old reward system. Do you understand? I do. Well, I, I don't. Fingerplate me. I'll fingerplate you. peek behind civilization's fig leaf. The naked ape is only human.
once a year, their caravans come to France, to the province of Vacaris. 30,000 gypsies in a celebration of life. Only this year, it will be a festival of violence. Alastair McLean's Caravan to Vacaris. Hidden among them is a scientist with a secret every nation will kill for. And one damn incredible woman any man would die for. And this year at Vacaris, they all do. Alastair McLean's Caravan to Vacaris, starring Charlotte Rampling, David Burney, The Gypsies, The Frenzy. bizarre duel ever filmed. Mesdames et messieurs, the flying tower. Alastair McLean is back in top Navarone form with the most unique and exciting high adventure of them all, Caravan to the Caris. late 1960s and early 1970s were so vintage and awesome at the same time, boys and girls. <laughs> yeah, Sonic Boom, I agree with you with those vintage movie trailers from the 60s and the 70s, dude. Yay. Sonic Boom, Tails Boom, you're making my ears wiggle when your ears wiggle, boys. Anyways, those were some awesome, vintage movie trailers from the late 1960s and early 1970s. Yeah, these, these were some awesome, awesome and vintage, vintage movie previews from the late 1960s and early 1970s. Agreed, Bowser. These were some vintage movie previews. Oh yeah. Vintage awesomeness, guys and gals. Why the heck do these 1960s and 1970s movie trailers make my ears wiggle in a funny way? These were awesome and vintage. Ha ha ha. Yay. So, may I go forth, Red Slash, Syrah? Of course, Tom Nook, you're the fourth character to share some videos on this giant screen. Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks, Syra. So, have you guys seen the weird sequences from SpongeBob SquarePants? Tom! Dude! Why are you going to show us some weird scenes from SpongeBob SquarePants? That's childish and silly, plus they're weird. Yeah, Tom, why watch SpongeBob? Dude, it's so overrated and annoying, you know. Well, come on guys. For those of you who haven't seen the sequences from SpongeBob SquarePants, just watch all right. I know they're silly, weird, and childish, get it? All right, Tommy boy, if you say so, my friend. Let's watch some SpongeBob, guys and gals. Ha ha ha. Mr. Krabs? I'm just going to make a few changes to the Krusty Krab menu, that's all. Changes? Oh, that reminds me. Do you have an eraser I could borrow? Eraser? Ah, never mind. I'll just cross it off. No more Krabby Patties. No more Krabby Patties. Okay, just breathe normally, son. No more Krabby Patties. There you go. That's it. There! He's starting to revive! I had this horrible dream that Mr. Krabs was never gonna let me cook Krabby Patties again!
Pardon me. We're losing him! Beautiful. Your crusty dog, sir, with extra mustard. Thanks. Can I bring you something else? Okay, I guess not. Thank you, sir. Wait for it, SpongeBob, wait for it. Now! Yeah, remember that? That was, oh my, Neptune! That crusty dog is about to explode! What? Where? Mr. Krabs sure has a lot of baggage about drain dealies. The main drain sounds very, very dangerous. I'm never gonna go near that thing. We should go find it! To protect it from people like us! What if we get sucked in like those other two kids? Oh, don't worry. We're not little kids. We're all grown up. Hey, old baby dude. Yeah. Did you just put that on? No, I didn't want to lose it, so I put it there right before we started filming. <laughs> This thing is stuck pretty good. You have to the hell out! I guess this is it! Oh, you really saved me! Splinter! Okay, well, it's been nice knowing you, but you have got to go now. Okay, out we go. Uh, oh, that kind of hurts. Come on. Uh, oh, that really hurts. Oh, barnacles, this hurts. Uh, 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 Cock shell manatees, this is painful! <laughs> Okay, you're tough, you're smart, and you are charming, but you are still no match for me! Look, a bald eagle with a mustache! <laughs> okay, fine, stay, but I hope you like making Krabby Patties! Yeah, it'll be pretty quiet around here with Mr. Krabs sending you home early and all. I just hope we'll make it through the whole rest of this day without you here. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Squidward, don't tell Mr. Krabs. What? Me? Tell Mr. Krabs? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Whew. Well, maybe. I don't have to tell Mr. Krabs. Because he already knows. SpongeBob is such a crybaby. And lucky me, I get to work with him all day. Ah! La 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 
SpongeBob, but I love it. SpongeBob, guess what? Yeah, I'll come back later. He was a good little Krabby Patty. I didn't know him well, but in the few short seconds between grill and floor, I... I came to love him! <laughs> Pop, will you stop crying? Well, the Krabby Patty fell on the floor and then he... Krabby Patty, nothing! Krabby oh, you... Patty, nothing! <laughs> what now? Yell that thing! It's a quick montage of flashbacks I've edited together that shows the hundreds of tears you have cried over the years. Job, Thousands of tears later. <laughs> wow, guess I do cry a lot. He cried, and he cried, and he cried even more. And he kept crying, and crying, and crying, and crying, and, and, and that's right, you can do it. I'm wondering if it might not be so healthy to hold it on my tears, Squidward. You're exactly right, SpongeBob. Let it all out. Don't fight the fear. Ten, nine, do it, do it, cry. Eight, seven, six, five, come on. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> <sighs> well, SpongeBob, it looks like you won. <laughs> wow, what a great show! Well, at least we're still together, little ones. Success! Uh-oh, that ain't good. No, 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 no! I can see everything! Good thing I always bring backup milk. Uh-oh, here we go. Eureka! It's gone. That disgustingly good eye is finally gone. I'm not a very strong swimmer. Okay, that's enough. It's closing time. You know, it just won't be the same around here without you. You'll have to visit sometime. As a customer. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Sayonara. Good riddance. Man, is it gonna be sweet without that pest around? <laughs> this day couldn't get any better. It says... Future side of the Shelly Superhighway. Superhighway? Do you know what that means? Well, yeah, it's sort of like other roads, except there are no stops. I know what a superhighway is. I mean, for all these jellyfish. For us, for jellyfish field. Sorry. I'm sorry, SpongeBob. I actually would like to help, but I'm just too busy right now. Too busy doing what? I'm too busy telling you. No! SpongeBob! Ahoy! Captain Mr. Krabs, ahoy! Why, SpongeBob, that's not your usual four-fingered salute! Well, I guess I'm just upset because they're building a highway over Jellyfish Fields. 
<laughs> well, SpongeBob, I'd sure hate me customers to see you like this. Is there anything I can do to help? Really, Mr. Krabs? Sure, why not? Oh, Mr. Krabs, I just know that together we can stop that nasty old highway from going right through Jellyfish Field. <laughs> Uh, you're not talking about the Shelly Superhighway, are you? Yeah, why? Uh, well, because I'm actually in favor of that highway being built. No, no, no! Yes, I've already calculated how many new customers I'll get once it's finished. You can see for yourself in this whole series of charts and diagrams I've displayed. <laughs> charts and diagrams. Mr. Krabs? No, boy, oh, not that kind. Mr. Krabs, what are you saying? The Krusty Krab can't stay in business. Not like this. It can't? No, SpongeBob. It's time to activate Plan Z Dash Niner Niner. Z Dash Niner Niner! <laughs> now, these were some silly, childish, and weird SpongeBob sequences. Don't you think, Mug Man? Yeah, Cuphead. I agree with you with those SpongeBob clips. Dude, ha ha ha. Yeah, it's an overrated show on Nickelodeon nowadays. Agreed, and you said it. So, may I go last, Sarah, Red Slash? Of course, Charmander, you're the last character to share any videos on this giant screen. Thanks, ha ha. So, do you want to watch some Borderlands Claptrap webisodes? Wait, Charmander, are you going to show my web series, dude? No doubt, we're watching these Borderlands webisodes right now, guys and gals. Wow, just wow. Guys. Oh, hi! Didn't see you there. You probably know that a game like Borderlands doesn't just make itself. As a matter of fact, it's the combined effort of many talented individuals. Oh, hey, Steve. How are the kids? Hello. As you've no doubt seen, we're doing something very different than your average action shooter here with the- <laughs> Seriously? Your arm's tired? I played the f***ing Duke of Buckingham and Richard III with Ian McKelly, ass <laughs> This is f***ing Bush League! As you've no doubt seen, we're- What the f***? What is your name? Tell me your f***ing name! Are you eating- Are you eating a sandwich? You're the sound guy! We can hear that! I'm professional, I can't believe this shit. Really? You want me to do it again? Again? Fine. No, 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 I'll do it again. No, seriously, no, right now. We'll do it again. No, right now. N new take, right now. As you've no doubt seen. I can't believe this shit. Really? Oh my god. Did your mom burn you with cigarettes as a child? What the hell's going on? Seriously, I, this, this is, I, I, I this. <sighs> Steve! 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 Do something with this guy, please! Hello. I'm sure you've all heard that our game has, like, a million bazillion guns! But what people probably don't know is that we generate our creatures the same way. I mean, there must be 20 different types of- Hang on, hang on. Let me make sure I got my flip-flops on. Nope. 
Ain't got shit. You, you don't got feet. Had to go there. You had to fucking go there. I'm pretty sure I found you playing a male prostitute in a Michael Bay remake of Cabaret. You want to go back? Huh? You want to go back to that? <sighs> what? Huh? Sorry. What? Didn't catch that, Marcel Marceau. Trout making Borderlands has been a rocky road. Tasty like the ice cream, but difficult to drive on. What the f- Oh, uh, Tony, he didn't just blow himself up and we weren't rolling? That was someone else. That, that was somebody else? Ah, oh, thank goodness. Hey, find out if they were union. Shooting something like this, you gotta be organic. Sometimes your actors explode. And worse, sometimes they don't. Gotta be creative. Quiet on the set! This is live! We're doing it live! Hey, you brought this upon yourself! It can't all be hookers and sunshine! Action! Oh, you, you want an update on me? Uh, okay. Uh, I, sp I spent 415 days in the hospital for what they declared was a... Oh, uh, oh God, what'd they say? Uh, they said it was a spine severed in 14 uh, distinct places. Uh, yeah, m mostly now I, I play characters that don't have legs uh, or a waist or anything uh, below the sternum, uh, really. So you, you might say my career is a uh, bust. Oh, I get in the bag. Uh, sometimes uh, my nurse even lets me do it from across the room, uh, which is a kick. since I got tossed out of Borderlands. I mean, I did do that totes rad Japanese commercial for rodent bleach. The rodents are bad! Sometimes you need to be me too! Your web series is so funny as heck. 
buddy. Yeah, yeah agreed, agreed with you. With you. Kirby. Kirby. My thanks, boys and girls, including Charmander, who showed us my wet series. Awesome job, Charmander. You're super welcome. Clap trap. We appreciate it. Well, these webisodes were so funny as heck. Don't you think, Jigglypuff? Yeah, Isabel. I agree with you with those Borderlands webisodes. All right, everyone. It's time for the 1980s double feature. Get your eyes ready on the giant screen. All right, Red Slash. You said it, dude. so charmingly different from anything the screen has ever known. Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. A glow with the warmth of characters all the world knows and loves. Beautiful Snow White. You'll just have time to wash. Wash? Fearless Doc. Our house. The lip slit. The, the life slit. Blushing Bashful. Oh, gosh. Explosive Sneezy. <laughs> Carefree Happy. Happy, ma'am. That's me. Grumbling Grumpy. <laughs> Women. Ever snoozing Sleepy. Hard to get. Lovable Dopey. And there's Prince Charming, the Heartless Queen, <laughs> and the Wicked Witch. Have a bite! Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is filled with the sounds of happiness and the songs all the world loves to sing. I'm wishing sailing into unknown adventures, looking for and finding dangerous charter. Outside it with your hands up. All of you! What would you say if I were to tell you that we are sitting on half a million dollars at this very moment? The dark of night hides the violent tensions caused by half a million in contraband. 
Give it to me! Ah! Ah! Then, off the Isle of Romance, a desperate criminal fights to the death the courageous adventurers who dared take dangerous charter. Turn, you fool! Turn! Dustin Hoffman is in action, as you've never seen him before, in his newest movie, Little Big Man. With the help of Martin Balsam and Faye Dunaway, he makes Little Big Man the comedy adventure of the year. You murdered a fool! Dustin, cut your throat to get it through your head, I'm a white man! 
white. Sure I'm white. Woo! Didn't you hear me say God bless George Washington? God bless my mother. I mean, now what kind of Indian would say a fool thing like that? Dustin Hoffman in Little Big Man. What moviegoer could ask for more? Rated GP. Name? Kowalski. Occupation? Driver. Transporting a supercharged Dodge Challenger from Denver to San Francisco. Background? Medal of Honor in Vietnam. Former stock and bike racer. Former cop. Dishonorably discharged. Now he uses speed to get himself up. To get himself gone. Everybody's after Kowalski. Because you think we're queers. For one reason or another. Is there something I can do for you? Well, like what? Like anything you want. Everybody wants a piece of his hide. Maybe kill somebody. Maybe stole that big dude of his. Maybe both. They want to get him and put him away, but they'll have to catch him first. Ah, I've got my own info. This is yours truly, super super soul. Directed live transmission from K O W. With the wham bam, boom boom, wake up music. Being chased by the blue, blue meanies on wheels. The vicious traffic squad cars are after our known driver. The super driver of the Golden West. The police numbers are getting closer, closer, closer to our soul hero in his soul mobile. They're gonna kill him, smash him, rip the last American hero. It's the maximum trip at maximum speed. Vanishing point. Twentieth Century Fox presents Phantom of the Paradise, a gothic horror story. What was that? A beautiful love story. Love, like a, a cinematic odyssey through the rock universe. From Greece to glitter wow! and beyond. The story of a sound, the man who created it. The girl who sang it, the monster who stole it, and the phantom who haunts the paradise, the ultimate rock palace. Phantom of the Paradise. My music is for Phoenix. Only she can sing it. Anyone else that tries, dies. Phoenix. Phoenix. Well, you told me one time that you'd be somebody, that you weren't working just to survive. B. Snow! Oh, oh, ow! Man, you better get yourself a castrato for this. Paul Williams as Swan. And the angels that defeated them. I want you to stop terrorizing the paradise and rewrite your cantata. And the Phantom. Stop and try me up. Only you might satisfy me up. Phantom of the Paradise. There really is the Phantom, Phantom.
in the year 2011. It was their perfect world, but there was no room for heroes. Have him brought in. There was no room for freedom. And now, it was time to run. Blow that jerk's car. The last chase. thousand feet. The ultimate hero driving the last car on earth in a fight for survival. B majors. Chris Makepeace, and Burgess Meredith as Williams. One ninety. Two oh five. Two ten. Two twenty. Two thirty. Two forty. The last chase. like him. He talked like him. Give me five, yo mama, get down. He even cooked yeah! like him. He wanted to be yeah! just like Bruce Lee. So he regulated his diet, began intensive training, yeah! and learned to live like a great samurai master. You must now come through. Oh yeah, I was stepping. And as his reputation spread throughout the land, his days became filled with new challenges. Eating chicken with nunchucks, defeating criminals with a flick of his hand, and defending good against evil. They give that man his purse back. He lived a life of non-stop action. Cut the cards, sir. Yes! Constant danger. For rest, for relaxation, deadly killers hunted him, and every woman wanted him. Now, as long as you wear this, I'm not going to make love to another man. Me neither. He was a man that women would fight for. Great teachers, perspective, and his wisdom was sought by everyone. The most important thing in life is fraud. Hey, man. It's the birth of a great American hero! They call me Bruce. Hi, Bruce. No, Bruce. Chinese boy got a funny mouth. They call me Bruce, a superhero America can believe in. Yeah! Everybody's dancing! In 1956, he first appeared on motion picture screens across the country. His impact on audiences was instantaneous and unprecedented. His acting technique was revolutionary. His presence, overwhelming. He possessed more raw talent than any performer of his generation. He soon became an international legend, a giant who took the world by storm. Then, suddenly, at the height of his fame, he retired from motion pictures. Now, he is back, and he's more magnificent, more glamorous, more devastating than ever. Prepare yourself. The greatest star of all has returned. Godzilla, 1985. Coming soon to a theater near you.
Webster is taking off for L.A. He lives to thrash. He loves to compete. But the competition is a killer. Check it out, it's hooking the dagger. Beautiful girl at the club. The music of the Bangles. An emotion. Devo. Meatloaf. The red hot chili peppers. Thrashing. Well, what do you thrash? What do you got? You'd like to be held like that? Yeah, I'd love it. Uphill romance. Of course, please don't go. To a downhill race. It's not a kid's game anymore. Long ago, in a faraway land, there was a prosperous kingdom ruled by a young emperor. He had a serious attitude. You threw off my groove. I'm sorry, but you've thrown off the Emperor's groove. Sorry. An evil advisor. By the way, you're fired. I'll take over and rule the Empire. And one major problem. I'll just poison him with this. Ah. Hey, Croc, can you top me off, pal? Be a friend? <laughs> a llama? He's supposed to be dead. Yeah, weird. Take him out of town and finish the job. Now, his only hope is a humble peasant. Demon Llama! Demon Llama? Where? Ah! Ah! You kidnapped me! But what a kidnap a llama! You're the criminal mastermind, not me. What? Tell me Cusco's dead. Ow! Well, he's not as dead as we would have hoped. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, 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 break. my life for a selfish brat like you. Now I feel really bad. Bad llama. This holiday season, Ooh, I mean. the Emperor's got a new look. <laughs> a new partner. We're gonna have to work together to get out of this. You know, it's a good thing you're not a big fat guy or this would be really difficult. <laughs> and a brand new groove. Come in! <laughs> Walt Disney Pictures presents... Emperor's new groove. Uh-oh. Don't tell me. We're about to go over a huge waterfowl. Yep. Sharp rocks at the bottom? Most likely. Bring it on. Booyah! December 2000 in theaters everywhere. I believe there's a hero in all of us. Gives us strength. Makes us noble. Even though sometimes we have to give up the thing we want the most. Barker! 
Where have you been? Looking for you all morning. You're late. Always late. You're fired. Look at you, Peter. Your grades have been declining. You always appear exhausted. I know I'm trying. So where you been, pal? You don't return my calls. I've been kind of busy. Taking pictures of your friend. Spider-Man killed my father. No matter what I do. Do you love me or not? No matter how hard I try. I want Spider-Man dead. It's the ones I love who will always be the ones who pay. I can't keep thinking about you. I'm getting married. I want a life of my own. And Spider-Man. No more. I let things get in the way before. There was something I thought I had to do. I don't have to. I like seeing you tonight, Peter. Now on to the main event. Octavius is going to put Oscorp on the map in a way my father never even dreamed of. Crazy scientist turns himself into some kind of a monster. Four mechanical arms welded right onto his body. You take Spider-Man's pictures. Where is he? He's taking me off your loyalty to Spider-Man and that's your best friend. Spider-Man to me. How do I find him? Peter Parker. Find Spider-Man, or I'll peel the flesh off her bones. There are bigger things happening here than me and you. Wow, just, just well, well, these, these were, were a bunch of movie, movie trailers. trailers. Yay, Sonic, Tails, these were a bunch of movie previews in this giant screen. That was so awesome, but length do you know? Oh, great bones, these were a lot of movie trailers. Yeah, these were a lot of movie trailers, including the ones from the 1960s to the 2000s. So, are you darn ready for the double feature of Teacher's Pet and the Pirates Who Don't Do Anything, a VeggieTales movie? Born and ready. ready. Hey, Red Slash, Sarah. May I use the restroom, please? Of course. Teha Lover 315, but be right back. Yeah. You don't want to miss the rest of the movie night, do you? And if you do, you're in big trouble. Thanks. I'll be back. I promise. <coughs> Hi there. Benny Parker Lover Chan, Bakun, Princess Elise, and King Tyler San. You guys are here to see the double feature of Disney's Teacher's Pet and the Pirates Who Don't Do Anything, a Veggie Tales movie. Right? That's right, Tayli Lover 315. So, let's go get some tickets for the double feature, shall we? Of course. Let's go get some tickets for the double feature, guys and gals. Awesome. Let's go right now, everybody. So, boys and girls, are you so darn excited for the Teacher's Pet and VeggieTales double feature? Of course, Tayli Lover 315. Agreed. So, the double feature show is about to start right now, everybody.
Dudley Moore, 63 inches of solid talent in an entertainment extravaganza. Shut up! Dudley Moore, the face that launched a thousand laughs as the riotous Rupert Street. Chicken! Just 29 and 7 eighths old, and scared stiff he won't make it before he makes 30. What's so special about being 30? Well, if you haven't made it by the time you're 30, it's highly unlikely you ever will. Ask anybody. Dudley's not yet 30, but he's already got an Oscar. This is Oscar, Eddie Foy Jr. And how's this for a bird? She's not Cynthia, and she's certainly not 30. She's Susie Kendall. I'm having five children by the time I'm 30. Can I help? I'll go away and play your piano. is a dangerous age, Cynthia. It's also a time for celebrating. Everyone for drinking. It's especially a time for enjoying Dudley Moore. <coughs> yes, that's lovely, thank you. At his funniest and brilliant best. My baby don't fit for me. <laughs> He don't play for me where the gay crowd meets. He knows how to take it. Smooth old rug. He forgot the real love. Award-winning motion picture producer, Samuel L. Bronkowitz. I have spent a lifetime in the motion picture industry. Now, after 50 years in Hollywood, I have finally produced what I feel is the finest motion picture ever made. I have called it the Kentucky Fried Movie. The Kentucky Fried Movie heralds the return to traditional values. I'm not wearing any pants. Film at 11. It is a film of heartfelt passion. A great love story. Oh, take me to the drive and prove you love me. <laughs> it explores the subtle nuances of interpersonal relationships. <laughs> of course, there are occasional moments of comic relief. <laughs> the Kentucky Fried Movie is a film that demands the greatest performances from the finest actors of the cinema. Hey, look, Roy. Whoa, he... I tell you, this building is unsafe. The National Guard is powerless to deal with the situation. Governor, what are we going to do? An anticipated 10% price hike across the board on petroleum products. I invite every man, woman, and child to share with me the joy and warmth of the Kentucky Fried Movie. It will knock your socks off.
Maybe I should just try the first line until you're sure that the attitude's right. I think we need to start laying him down. Okay, let's try that. John Cleese, 22, take one. We are paying this respected professional. Any more comments before I start running? To act like a frog. <laughs> How do I get myself talked into these things? A frog who thinks he's a prince. Voila! They call me Johannes. Trying to save a swan. Samba! To the rescue, mademoiselle! A swan who's really a princess. Princess of death. And that's just for starters. <laughs> the Swan Princess. Featuring the voices of John Cleese. Sure, go on, John Dabu. Race to your death. Sandy Duncan. No, it can't be. Jack Palance. Had to be sneaky, didn't you? And Stephen Wright. No, 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 no. In a fresh spin on a classic fairy tale. Dead. Derek. A magical musical animated adventure. Swan Princess. The secret of a successful beer is advertising! That makes what? sense. You are about to enter the dynamic, high-pressured world of advertising. You're all yes men. Whenever I ask you a question, you're always going to say yes. What good is that? I need men who will tell me what they think. Am I right, Reamer? Yes. You fight. Get up. Don't look back. Press the down button. Here, creative people team up to exchange brilliant ideas. Ideas that will influence everything from what we drive. Okay, honey, do your stuff to what we put in our mouths. I don't like it. All right, then picture this, and how about this? Longer cans. I hate it. Smythe, you're the uh, creative director. Uh, you got anything you can uh, throw out at us here? We get a bunch of guys. They work in construction. And after a hard day's work, they reach for some Norbecker beer. They all reach for a beer. Each one gets a beer. Then they hold them up. Hi. You're fired. Get out. Mr. Femer. Yes, Miss Tucker, what does the lady executive have to say? I'm putting together a concept. And now, you're about to experience more drama. I will smash Anakin. And more action than you've ever expected <laughs> in a light comedy. When me and my buddies are drinking Norbecker Pilsner, we don't like being disturbed. No, Becca Pills. Have one if you're tough enough. I want macho. What has beer got to do with being a man? <laughs> Alcoholism, divorce, violence in the streets. We're doing great. You pick the right kind of guys for this sort of thing. Me and my buddies. Case of Nora Becker and let nature take its course. <laughs> Commercial over here. Those commercials, come on, fellas. They are disgusting. They are degrading. Or are they? Let's find out. It's a scene. I'm just trying to make a living like everybody else. So come on, guys. Without you, Norbeckers. Beer. The funniest movie ever to come out of a bottle. I love love stories, don't you? Once upon a time, in a land far, far away. Bumbalina! She's funny little squirt. A very small girl, no bigger than a thumb. I wish I were big. Don't ever wish to be anything but what you are. And an impossible dream of finding her one true love. Let me be your only love. Well, let's Happily ever after. But before her fairy prince could claim her heart. She's gonna marry the fairy prince. Well, perhaps. She was stolen from her home. Somebody in the sky. Who did it? A toad. And lost to a very big world. I'll find her. You are going to marry my son. Oh, no, no, no. Thumbelina! 
hear that she loves the fairy prince, right? Are you really going to marry the fairy prince? Yes. <laughs> well, then follow your heart. It will lead you home. Yeah. From the enchanting pages of Hans Christian Andersen's storybook classic and the imagination of Don Bluth, director of an American tale, comes a magical ride in a world brought to life by the music of Barry Manilow. Oh, Thumbelina. I love great romances. Thumbelina. Nothing is impossible if you follow your heart. A lovely story. epidemic of fish fever is sweeping the nation. It is highly contagious. Fortunately, there is no cure. It's the fish that saved Pittsburgh. It's the fish. Fish. They're all Pisces. All Pisces? It's the fish that saved Pittsburgh. It's dazzling. It's futuristic. It's fun. Some balloons for everybody. I mean, it's a sacrilege. That's what it is. It's got speed. It's got rhythm. All across the land. It's got style. It's like the gong show. It's a new sensation. A celebration. And a secret weapon. It's fish fever. And once you catch it, you're hooked. The fish that saves Pittsburgh. An astrological disco sports extravaganza. And may the fish be with you. Nick Pirandello, CIA agent. I think I went into the CIA because most other employers have rules against bringing automatic weapons to work. Bob Wilson, insurance agent. I'm thinking about joining a health club, but for now I'm just eating more bran. A couple of real men. Most guys don't stay in the business very long. You know, they get shot, poisoned, they lose interest. I think Russians are people just like us. A little paler, maybe. I crashed a KGB Christmas party once. They acted like they'd never seen a flamethrower before. With women's clothes, I think sometimes it's sexier what you can't see. Sex is the most natural, the most beautiful way for a man and a woman to sweat. Used to be real men had dogs and women had cats. Cats are for women. Real men like dogs. You can say what you want to about polyester, but it really holds a crease nicely. They say saturated fats are bad for your heart. James Belushi is Nick. So are car bombs. John Ritter is Bob. Becoming partners for a dangerous secret mission wasn't their idea. Only the CIA could think of something that stupid. Real men. Coming real soon to a theater real close. One of the year's most enchanting stories is about to bloom. Now, Don Bluth, the director of An American Tale, takes children of all ages on a wondrous and spectacular fantasy adventure that will delight and surprise you. A troll in Central Park. It all begins when a lovable little troll named Stanley... I won't have him growing any more of those things! Flowers? ...is banished to Central Park by an evil queen. Delicious to be so vicious I'm the Noga, the queen of me There, he accidentally comes face to face With a little girl And her brother Gus I'm Stanley What's your name? Rosie Watch this Together, 
they share a remarkable journey as they experience the incredible magic of Stanley's amazing special powers. You've got to have a dream. After them! Until the evil queen discovered all the fun they were having. Rosie! <laughs> now, you too can enjoy the wonder and enchantment of a friendship that grows and blossoms in a movie that will make your heart sing. A Troll in Central Park when you believe in yourself, you can do anything. Universal, the studio that brought you such classic motion pictures as All Quiet on the Western Front, E.T., The Extraterrestrial, and out of Africa is proud to present Amazon Women on the Moon featuring Steve Gutenberg, Rosanna Arquette, Lou Jacoby Where am I? Pretty scary, huh? Ooh. Ed Begley Jr., B.B. King Did you know that every seven minutes a black person is born in this country without soul? Tiger yellow ribbon round the old oak tree Russ Meyer Ralph Bellamy, Monique Gabrielle. I bet I know what you want. Griffin Dunn, Steve Forrest, Sybil Danning. Oh, Steve, save yourself. Henry Silva, Steve Allen, Kelly Preston, Carrie Fisher, and Arsenio Hall. Amazon Women on the Moon. I've seen enough, Doctor. I know you have, but have you? Amazon Women on the Moon. The new film from directors Joe Dante, Carl Gottlieb, Peter Horton, John Landis, and Robert Weiss. A modern masterpiece of comedy. This is the wife. Harry has a mistress. This is the husband. When your marriage isn't going well, the last thing you'll look for is another woman. How come it's the first thing you find? How come? This is the mistress. Can I have a baby? Why do you have to ask? I wouldn't want to do any back. But he thinks she's the mistress. Oh, I wish you'd say something. Why is it the wrong men always start conversations? Not bad looking, but I wouldn't leave home for her. When he leaves this elevator, you'll never see him again. You say something. Pardon me. Yes? Do you have the time? No. It's ten after five. Well, she's a monumental fraud. You need help, Sloan. Turn yourself in. Believe me, Harry, the first guy that comes along with a better offer. So, to save his friend's marriage, he makes her a better offer which she takes him up on. And then he finds out she isn't anybody's mistress. You gotta tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Of course you gotta tell her. But why to rush? Tell her in the morning. How to save a marriage and ruin your life. Well, I don't know why I bother to stay on as your mistress. You are not my mistress. It's over. I sent you that note. I am not a public utility you can turn off with a note. Will you stop yelling? You wanted me. You've got me until I'm ready to call it off. Why? All I tried to do was save a marriage. Zorro's back. Zorro, the greatest hero of them all. Thank God for your life, Sergeant. Everyone knows the mark. Everyone knows the mask. Everyone cheers his fame. It's the all-new adventures of Zorro. 
It's O for fun. And fun for all. Zorro, the spirit of adventure. A mystery in a mask. A legend that lives and fights in the biggest adventure of them all. No danger too great. No escape impossible. Sorrows everywhere. It's all new. It's all fantastic. Zorro, the most incredible daredevil in the most spectacular action. It's the all-new adventure of Zorro. Twentieth Century Fox invites you to take an advanced peek at the biggest holiday event of 1994, starring Macaulay Culkin as you've never seen him before. In the world of Richard Tyler, danger is everywhere. Look, it's Richard Tyler. Go for it, Tyler. What's wrong? You scared? Hey, Rich, come on up. Solid as a rock. Eight percent of all household accidents involve ladders. Another three percent involve trees. We're looking at eleven percent probability here. Go down to Gutman's Hardware Store, buy a pound of nails. We're gonna finish this treehouse before dark if it kills us. Under the rain, and into a place where imagination runs wild. Welcome, young man. The library card, please. I don't have one. You do now. Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime with the Page Master. I'm a cartoon. You are an illustration. Ah! Right now, he's only a drawing. While the most magical film of 1994 is in production. Archibald, featuring the voices of Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, baby. Patrick Stewart. Ah! Frank Welker from Aladdin. <laughs> Leonard Nimoy. Dr. Jekyll. Yes, sir. And Christopher Lloyd. I am the Page Master. Producer David Kirshner, who brought you an American Tale, Once Upon a Forest, and Hocus Pocus, joins director Joe Johnston of Honey I Shrunk the Kids. And the world's most creative animation designers to bring you an incredible world where Richard Tyler must conquer his own fears. Hang on, guys! I'm coming. That's it, boy. Go for the desert. My hero. The motion picture experience that will open your eyes to all the treasures the imagination can hold. The Page Master. Coming for Christmas, 1994. Pictures, where they make a picture a week, and if it's a good picture, it's a miracle. Action! I'm in the heat. I'm horny as hell. Got the bath. Ah, that's not in the script. The script. I'm being eaten alive. Mary, this is not a film about the human condition. This is a film about tits and ass. Hollywood Boulevard, where starlets are made. Hi, I'm Candy. You must be an actress. Well, I'm trying to be one. Hello, cold and empty night. Hello, Hollywood. Is anybody sleepy? Or、well, shall we have a three-way career conference? I was PG, Miracle Pictures. Hello, Axon on the set, and、uh, you need a replacement in a hurry. A stunt driver? Look, I can't. In this scene, your motivation is to, to be stay alive. We buried our last stunt girl on Saturday. Good luck, sweetheart. They audition in bed, dodge flying lead, do whatever it takes to get ahead. 
No. No, no! I want action! Ha! Jill, what a performance. Jill? Jill! She's dead, for real! How am I going to get my close-up? What? PG, you just don't understand. People are dying. Hey, that's showbiz. <laughs> Hollywood Boulevard brings you Haunted Castles, Skydiving, Water Sports, Future Shock, Axe Murders, Crime in the Streets, Kung hey! Fu, Green Meatballs, Pink Monsters, Girls in Bikinis, Girls Without Bikinis, Witty Remarks, Blow It Out Your Ass, Naked well, Truth. It's a real low budget picture, you know what I mean? Raw emotion and Commander Cody and his Lost Planet Airmen. Things happen fast on Hollywood Boulevard. Rated R. Cut! This spring, Turner Feature Animation introduces you to some new characters you'll love in a story that could only happen in the movies. Hollywood, where the streets are paved with gold. So where join Danny, Sawyer, gold. Tilly, Wooly, Pudge, uh -oh, I'm busted. and Darla Dimple, child star extraordinaire. I am an angel! And her faithful assistant, Max. Yes. <laughs> With new songs by Grammy Award winners Randy Newman and Natalie Cole. Nothing's gonna stop us. Nothing's gonna Nothing's stop, gonna stop us. audiences everywhere from enjoying a brand new world of animated fun, excitement, and adventure. Cats don't dance. See you in the movies. If you can't put your feelings into words, put them in a letter. Listen to this. I, I don't know how to tell you what I want to tell you. I'll never find the nerve to give you this letter anyway. But I just love you more than words can say. I'm in love. I long to have your arms around me and feel your body against mine. Oh, radical. But be careful where you put the letter. Take your hands off my daughter, Fruit Lips. Oh, it's the mailman. My mother's in there crying. I hope you're happy. I really like it. Michael, she loved it, okay? She look great. My son's in the next car. He's with my daughter. Well, what do you want me to do? Do it right. Oh, she loved it. Whoa. Well, what about you? Me? Oh, I have no standards. I mean, I didn't go out with you. It wasn't good. It was great. You and me, him and her, all together at the same house at the same time. Uh, one more thing, little boy. Oh, God. You get her pregnant, I'll blow you. No sacrifice. No reward. Secret admirer. Well, what do you want me to do? Do it right. X, X, X. O, O, O. X, X. Think I'd write another one? This summer, learn how to do it right. See Secret Admirer. The main attraction. Oh man, this is going to be so awesome. Oh, Kirby Sweetie, thanks for an awesome movie night by Sarah and Red Slash. How about an awesome kiss for you, babe? Ah, Jigglypuff. You are making me blush and my eyes transform into hearts. I'm in love. Thanks for this kiss, babe. Ha ha. Hee <laughs> hee You're super welcome, my love. Hello there, Jigglypuff, Corby. We have something to tell you. What is it? 
everybody. Well, Taha Lover 315 ditched from our movie night to see the debile feature of Disney's Teacher's Pet and the Pirates Who Don't Do Anything, a VeggieTales movie without permission. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to punish Tehi Lover 315 for watching the teacher's pet veggie tales double feature? Boy, ready. Let's go punish that bad boy for good. Awesome sauce, ladies and gentlemen of the KCPA gang. Let's go punish Tehi Lover for good right now. <coughs> okay, we're here, everybody. Now, Luigi, Gold Mario, Mario, Tom Nook, Pikachu, Eggman Boom, Tails Boom, Sonic Boom, Tails, Sonic, Isabel, Dippy, and Jigglypuff, wiggle your ears to hear deep to this theater, guys and gals. You got it, Red Slash, let's do this everybody. So, do you hear anything in this cinema? Yep. I hear anything very deep inside this theater. Yep, uh, I've heard the sounds of this cinema in my halls as well. So, let's go punish the number 315 right now. Wow guys. This movie is so many times better than Bill and Dead and Back to the Future. Yeah, to you lover 315. I agree with you, dude. Wait a minute! That's Penny Parker Lover Chan! Bucket, Princess Elise? And King Tyre San, who can join Tay over 315 for the animated double feature? Get your eyes on these people, boys and girls. You got it. Get your eyes on the people, guys. I see them in my brown eyes. Yes, yeah, Waddle D. I see those guys in my big eyes. How about the rest of you? I see those bad characters watching the double feature in my black, beady eyes as well. Yeah, Waddle D. Cappy, Toad. I'm watching those characters watching the double feature in my blue eyes as well. So, let's go punish them for good, at last. Awesome sauce boys and girls. Let's go get them right now. <coughs> Holy shit. We're in deep trouble. Penny Parker Lover Chen, Balkan, Princess Elise, and King Tyler Sand, go home right now so we have to deal with Tehi Lover 315. <coughs> 
Teha Lover 315, you are in big trouble for ditching Siran Red Slash's movie night to see the devil feature of Teacher's Pet and Veggie Tales without permission. That's so it. You are grounded for six weeks. This means you will not be watching SpongeBob, Veggie Tales, Freddy Got Fingered, Sausage Party, and many more. Let's go home right now, young man. Do you want to see some movie trailers from the 1950 and the 1960s? Of course, Kirby, why not? We love to see some 1950s and 1960s movie trailers. Okay then, here are the movie trailers from the 1950s and the 1960s. Let's watch those vintage previews. Oh Tom, I can't wait to see Marilyn Monroe and the Beach Boys in these movie previews. Yeah, I'm proud you said it, robot buddy. <laughs> It's so charmingly different from anything the screen has ever known. Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. A glow with the warmth of characters all the world knows and loves. Beautiful Snow White. You'll just have time to wash. Wash? Fearless Doc. Our house. The lip slit. The life slit. Blushing Bashful. Oh, gosh. Explosive Sneezy. <laughs> Carefree Happy. Happy, ma'am. That's me. Grumbling Grumpy. <laughs> Women. Ever snoozing Sleepy. Hard to get. Lovable Dopey. And there's Prince Charming, the Heartless Queen, <laughs> and the Wicked Witch. Have a bite.
Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is filled with the sounds of happiness and the songs all the world loves to sing. I'm wishing, I'm wishing for the one I love. I'm home, I'm home, in home from earth we go. Was it really just our last good night when I saw the light and I know that you've been telling lies? Oh no. Get your hands full of water. You snort and you scuff and go. With a smile and a song. And your heart is yours. since Scarface, so much action. Not since the Marx Brothers, so much comedy. Not since the seven-year itch, so much Maryland. The best picture this year will also be the funniest. Good night, sugar. Good night, honey. There's one thing sure, boy never met girl like this before. You've never laughed more at sex, or a picture about it. You stay here as long as you like. Jack may have beaten Tony to the sugar, but not for long. You're not giving yourself a chance. Don't fight it. Relax. Hear Marilyn sing the fabulous songs of the Roaring Twenties on the United Artists Soundtrack Album. Come on and get ready, I'm coming down. I can't take a life in the city, I'm tired of being pushed around. I'm packing up my bags and I'm leaving to find a new place of my own. was the boy they all followed. The man the chicks go for. The guy the cops go after. Officer, Neely is in the hospital, more dead than alive. You can't pin it on me. No, we can't. But you're through breaking the law. Sarge, I don't break the law. I make my own. The big man who makes his own rules makes every chick bow to his will. Who's top stud? Your top stud. Until a woman shows him up. Then the wheel-wise hot rodder turns dirty dirt track driver. There's nothing he couldn't or wouldn't do with a wheel or a woman, no matter who paid. We got company. 
wondering if the fishermen had ever been used for bait. A mystery ship sailing into unknown adventures, looking for and finding dangerous charter. Outside it with your hands up. All of you! What would you say if I were to tell you that we are sitting on half a million dollars at this very moment? The dark of night hides the violent tensions caused by half a million in contraband. Give it to me! Ah! Ah! Then, off the Isle of Romance, a desperate criminal fights to the death the courageous adventurers who dared take dangerous charter. Fascinating, compelling, thrilling. The ultimate in screen entertainment. Hercules and the Captive Women. Kill me. Kill me, I beg you. With a new and dynamic personality, Reg Park as Hercules. Frightening with barbaric rituals. Terrifying with murder and intrigue. Hercules, with all the power of his legendary strength, stands alone against these mysterious beings of superhuman power. Hercules and the captive women, caught in the grip of a beautiful and passionate woman whose secret sadistic love rituals gave him superhuman strength. join me in the conquest of the world. All mankind will recognize me as their queen and adore you as the one and only God. Love me, Hercules, and together we shall reign over men and gods. Hercules and the Captive Women, starring Reg Park and Faye Spain. Don't miss this all-new, outstanding motion picture adventure. Massive in scope, mighty in thrilling action, Magnificent in Technicolor and Technorama, Hercules and the Captive Women. picture ever to surf up on the screen. Hi, Sandy. Ding. Hey, listen, how about a nice little... No. Sandy, honey, what is there about me that makes me so utterly resistible to you? Aside from the fact that you're irresponsible, incorrigible, intolerable, impossible, and insane, I can't think of a thing. Oh, daddy! Oh, daddy! Oh, daddy! Here come those old daddies and beach dollies in the swingin'est young people's picture of the year. Oh daddy, oh daddy, oh daddy, oh daddy, oh daddy, oh daddy. Hot dog and ride high and wide. Grammys get all mashed up inside. Oh daddy. It's strictly for fun. For those who think young. Oh daddy, oh. Way they make love in India? Mm -hmm. Concentrate. It's mind over matter. We're searching. You beast! <laughs> the mother called downstairs. <laughs> 
later in life. Where are you, Betty? She says, I'm down here with John in the loving room. The mother said, that's living. She said, and how, mother? <laughs> I'm gonna walk from the seas to the burning sand. I'm gonna walk all over. It's a frolic loaded with guys and gals dedicated to the pursuit of each other. Gold Coast Marathon and the Florida Grand Prix. The great hydroplanes that churn water at death-defying speed. We can see daylight under that boat. This Miami is over! The kicks never stop for the racing set. They live it up and love it up at a restless pace. Driven by the racing fever in their blood. I have someone for you, Doctor. Can you see her tomorrow night? Fine. Fine. We get it on tomorrow night, Doctor. Come, come. Please don't destroy our baby. Starring Joe Morrison, Charles Martin, Barbara Biggert, and presenting recording star Jerry Granahan. If I had to limit myself to going out with men who thought you were a nice guy... I still pay the bills, remember? We'll see shortly. Connie, I love you. I want to marry you. <laughs> Don't, Lee. Don't defend my honor just because he showed up. Behind the glamour of Florida's sporting life, a blazing torrent of emotions, and suddenly a grueling race becomes a deadly vendetta. Surfer in the world must be here. From Makaha to Sunset Beach. From the Bonsai Pipeline to Waimea Bay, the big surf daddy of them all. Wave after wave of wild excitement. With the guys who go where the action is. And the gals who go for the action guys. Jody and Bree. The surf bum and the girl most likely. Steamer and Lily. The fender bender and the Hawaiian beauty. Chase and Augie, the blue blood and the hot-blooded tomboy. Fabian is Jody, a wild kid who does anything for kicks. Even if he shoots, I don't think he's got the stones to come anywhere near me. Shelley Fabre is Bree, old enough to fall in love, too young to know better. What's the difference? You still can't go anywhere. Nevertheless, I still think we should get dressed. Tab Hunter is Steamer. He goes all the way for everything Hawaiian. Susan Hart is Lily, who gives a new twist to an old custom. Barbara Eden is Augie, ready and willing for anything. You know what you need? What? A good, strong dose of Augie Pool. Two weeks from today, you're going to be a new man. Peter Brown is Chase, a quiet college type who suddenly changes. Don't be a fool! Chase Colton's coming down! Chase, don't do it, please! Jim Mitchum, a champ they're all out to get. Let's go! Ride the wild surf 
filmed in the wild waters of Hawaii with the world's greatest servers. And the world of sports is about to bring you one of the most spectacular sights the islands had to offer. Young surfers riding waves 20 to 30 feet high, with only the very best of them challenging each other to stick it out for the last ride. Skate, dear. Get that little tramp off my bed and out of my bedroom. She's my guest. How can she be your guest? This is my house. think I'm a king, Marshal? I think you're a bum. A useless, drifting bum. If I were an artist, yes, that's what I would do. If that's what love is, I might understand it. These were some awesome and vintage 1950s and 1960s movie trailers. Even including Snow White, when Dopey's ears wiggle, this made my ears wiggle. Ha ha ha. Yeah, Marilyn Monroe is so sexy in hat in her movie. Some like it hot, even including those beach and surfing movie previews as well. Yeah, these were some vintage movie previews. Snow White is the first Disney animated movie, but originally released in 1937. Ha. Dopey is definitely making my ears wiggle because he wiggled his ears. That was so funny and cute at the same time. Ha. Huh. Isabel, you're making my ears wiggle as well. That was so funny and cute. This is because Dopey was wiggling his ears. Ha ha ha. Ha. Huh. 
Yeah, Dopey's wiggling ears are definitely making my ears wiggle like this beardless dwarf. Ha 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 ha! These 1950s and 1960s movie previews are making my eyeballs laugh and roll like a funny cartoon character. Well, you said it, everyone. These were some vintage 1950s and 1960s movie previews. These caught my blue eyes. Yeah, Kirby. These vintage previews caught my black, beady eyes as well. Yes, these 1950s and 1960s movie previews caught my brown eyes as well. And Kirby, you have blue eyes, and I have brown eyes, get it? Ha ha ha. Yep, I got it. Waddle Dee. These were vintage and awesome. Ha ha ha. Thank you.